I am Tan Teck Kwang. I am Muhammad Hanif Najmi. We are, we are from, from SMJK Tonghua, Kuala Lumpur. Bending water, in which, as you can see, I'm discharging the electrons from the balloon, in which this will cause an electron spiking. Now, look carefully to the stream of the water. It starts wow. to bend when I put the balloon in here. It bends so much that it is about 30 degrees from the normal line. Now, here's why. Both the balloon and my hair are in neutral state in the beginning but when I start to rub the balloon on my hair, the negative electron from my hair start to discharge and move to the balloon. At the same time, the stream of the water is in positive charge. When I place my balloon near to the water, the negative charge balloon will act as a magnet to the water and pull the stream away from the normal position that they will flow and causes it to become a bending shape. And this is called an electrostatic force in which it is applied to our daily life. Let Hanif to explain to us for the next session. Electrostatic force often happens when the two things rub together. The electron will repel the electron while the electron attract the positive charge. This is a balloon without water and the fire from the Bunsen burner creates heat energy. When the balloon is burned, the air particles in it starts to collide actively, hence the balloon starts to expand. The rubber of balloon stretched out too fast and it can't hold it, then it eventually explodes. This is the balloon filled with water. The fire from the Bunsen burner produces heat energy. The heat that the balloon rubber is gaining can dissipate into the water Inside, the water evaporates and condenses at the top of the balloon. 
the water that condense turns into a water vapor and it drops back to the water again. The process goes again and again. The balloon was not expand and leaving the rubber surface cool and undamaged. This process is called continual convection current. Convection is the movement of group of molecule within fluid such as gases and liquids which is take place through advections, diffusions or either both. The simple natural phenomena that involve convection is the land breeze and the sea breeze. Our third experiment for today is paper plates. Yes. And if okay. you today we want to make how does this thing fly further and it about potential energy. How to make planes fly further with potential energy? Well, as you can see, to make it more mechanical, we have rubber band attached to this paper plane. So we can adjust the force that we are needed. If we use our hand, we can't do it that accurately. Okay, now hand it. Okay, try as hard as you can. The furthest that you can fly it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, obviously, my. obviously not far. And a plane crashed. Well, let's see how about using this rubber band. Hand it. Flying paper plane with hand produces a low potential energy on the paper plane. Therefore, the paper plane won't fly far because low potential energy converts into a low kinetic energy. But using rubber band to fly a paper plane produces higher potential energy. This is because rubber band have higher elasticity than a human hand. Therefore, paper plane thrown with rubber band flies further than the manual ones because high potential energy converts into high kinetic energy. People use bow and arrow to hunt or target something from a long distance. This is because the bow provides more and higher potential energy Therefore, with high kinetic energy, the arrow can shoot far. Now, the last experiment of the day. How yes. we need to prove that how chemical energy can converts convert to and electric energy. Yes. As we can see, we always use the battery, but what if we use another substance, the chemical energy, which can create an electrical energy? Okay, this one is a copper plate, and this one is a magnesium ribbon. And this blue thingy is called a copper two sulfate. And what we just need is to dip this two inside of it and you will see what will happen to the work with them.
starts to increase. When he let this go, let these two different elements of the solution, the voltmeter becomes to neutral, zero value. And Hanif, you explain this to us shortly. This is a magnesium. This is copper. And this is copper to sulfate. Magnesium is more electropositive and release more electron. Hydrogen ion accept electron from the copper matter and will be discharged because its position is lower than magnesium ion in the electrochemical series. Magnesium anode dissolve to form magnesium ion. Hydrogen molecule is formed and cause hydrogen gas bubble is off. Therefore, it produces electricity and make the voltmeter has reading. This is a simple voltaic cell. A simple voltaic cell can convert from a chemical energy to electrical energy.